morning all, Sunday, uh, 13th of March. Just uh, chilling out, doing a few little jobs on the Land Rover. Oops. And uh, I've mentioned this before. These little frogs. And the frog spawns. They're doing their little mating dance. And they're waiting for the females there, those two. You know, the females crawl into this side there and then they wait to pounce. But anyway, enough said about that. Just zoom back out. Yeah, there's a bit of movement there. Right, basically, which I've got to stop saying. On a Land Rover, uh, which I'll fill in, um, you have these door handles, which I'm going to oops, which I'm going to point down to in a moment. And uh, what they have um, is they have a system where you can lock it on the inside on the one door, but there's no keyhole. Well, you can put the keyholes in, and you can buy uh, a door lock, and it's about twenty plus pounds. And then you can uh, sweep the keys so that one key will fit the two doors and the back door. Uh, which is fine, but I haven't got one of those, so I'm going to modify one of my spare handles and um, with a dubious bit of uh, drilling, cutting and uh, sort of like filing, and uh, make it fit. And also I'm going to fit is the original uh, handle, which I'm going to explain to you in a sh short while, as a, an added bonus or added proportion, uh, is that if, if I'm in the vehicle uh, of an evening, let's say, because the one I'm I will or possibly camping overnight or a couple of days here and there for added security I can refit uh, the original mechanical design which will stop the handle being moved backwards and forwards so at the moment that is being removed and uh, which I'm now going to point down and show you today, so this mechanical device fits in here and you basically push the button in which locates that pin into a hole in there and then stops the handle moving um, and you can see there's no hole in the top here which it should be uh, this is the handle I want and of course this is the other handle for the other side and that's how that sits with the hole in the top there for this to fit, oops, to fit in uh, which holds the key uh, and you, you just buy some of these and uh, use them well I didn't realize uh, I've got a few spares, but I needed the, the, the centers for the keys, which I have got. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in here, file it, sort it, fit one of those in there, fit a new key in there, then fit the mechanical device back in there. So I'll have the two or two ways of locking this door on the passenger side, which is what I'm after. So um, they're all standard locks, basically. Um, so there you go. So I'll bring you back into that in a minute. Uh, I've done a bit more work on the old tinker light and uh, I'm looking forward to the sunny weather which is at the moment and uh, try and get away for the odd day or two just to run it through and see how it goes but uh, uh, I'll see you all in a bit folks, cheers Right, that's the hole drilled and that's the unit put in place I'm using the old one for the time being I'm going to take the door handle off the other side and uh, see if this fits uh, see if I've got my dimensions right. Uh, if so, I'll fit this. If not, um, I'll go back to the drawing board. Cheers, folks. No, it's okay. That's the lock in there, which fits okay. And there's that little like, duckbill spoon thing there, and that spins round and locks the handle. I'm just putting the other safety catch back on now, and uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Cheers. Right folks, there's all the shiny bits on. Um, it doesn't matter the paintwork, but it doesn't matter. Um, that's the lock. I've had to grind a bit off there. I've had to grind a bit off there, because this was uh, the tongue was too long. So when I shut the door, I couldn't open it, so I had to put a, a, a screwdriver in on the inside. I've got to put two rivets in there. So, excuse me. Uh, I have now a lock on the outside. So, I can lock that and it's locked. Also, 
I can uh, push this in Oops. and lock it as well. The bolt doesn't go straight in. So, oops, the bolt doesn't go straight in, so it, it does keep uh, it locked. And then that's fine and it opens up. So there you go. And if I show you on the inside there, you can see that. Just get me key. In. So that just swings round and locks, stops the handle moving up. It's mechanical, but it's okay. So open and that's it. That makes it a lot of easier to get in and out of these vehicles. Um, why they never put a lock in there saves money, I suppose. But cheers, folks. I'll catch you all in a bit. Cheers. All right. Um, it's come to about four o'clock. Finished my little jobs. Been a nice day, fantastic day. Um, I've just uh, done all my locks. So basically, um, all the locks now work on one key. I've done the passenger door and uh, the back door and the front door, so they're all got the same key. It's called Sweeted, so all the locks are the same. And then I've been uh, little silly little jobs, but it takes for a bit of time um, changing the bolts on the back hinges. Uh, the tailgate, not tailgate, the cross member to stainless. Um, th they're pretty good actually. Um, this vehicle was very well looked after, um, but I thought, well, I'll do the stainless route. And so I've been changing a few. So nice, steady, just a few hours working. Uh, I drilled a few holes in a, a cross member because I'm putting some of the uh, tubular bumpers on, but I've just got to modify them slightly, which is a bit of a pain. I've had enough now, I'm coming in for some tea and a bit of YouTube and I'll show you what I've been doing. So, as you can see, uh, just changed the crossman bolts, a couple there, I've got a few more to do on the inside. <coughs> Put the beer opener there, even though I don't drink. Um, so all the locks are the same, whoops a daisy. And then changing the hinge bolts, and the hinge bolts up here, um, to stainless don't need to do those and I just started doing those clean some dirt out so all the locks basically are the same um, I must get that room sorted uh, now the weather's starting to improve so the locks haven't changed, I've just changed the inside sections and so that's it, all operate the same so a little bit more done yeah just a nice steady day but um, this is my, uh, as people call it, my fleet of Land Rovers uh, the other one's got its wheels back on, the engine's in. A um, few little hiccups yesterday. Um, just got to get a little, uh, I'm going to get a copy uh, carburetor for that. So hopefully in the next week or two that'll be up for sale. I've got a bit to work to do. Just put the new floor panels in and uh, various other bits. Just got to rebuild the instrument panel again and uh, get it up and running for the next few days. But uh, yeah, beautiful day. Uh, nice to have a little tinker about. So uh, I'll catch you all later, uh, I hope you all have a nice weekend and uh, bye for me.